Is the sneaker game really dead? Well, not really. Let me explain. By now you've probably seen a bunch of videos from sneakerheads and YouTubers alike and everybody in their mama going ahead and answering the question whether the sneaker game is dead or not. In my opinion, the sneaker game is not dead. It's just changing. That's it. Now, there's some YouTubers out there that have done a very good video explaining the reasons why they feel that it has changed or why it's dead. And some just don't even answer the question. They just ramble off and then they go ahead and say, The resale market is dead. Therefore, the sneaker game is dead. Sneakers are not really dead. The hype is dead. If Nike is done, everybody is done. Look, I understand everybody has their own opinion. I have mine as well. So today I have four reasons why I feel that the sneaker game is changing and not dead and some of these are actually a very good thing for us sneakerheads for us true sneakerheads so with that being said let's get right into the video the truth is that outfits are just better than sneakers in 2024. That's just facts. A lot of people seem to have the same mindset as me. I have always said that in this channel, you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good. And people are just kind of tired of spending $500, $600 on a pair of sneakers to wear it a couple of times. And then you don't really, you really can't wear it because it's such a nice and hype sneaker that you're kind of left with no sneakers, right? So now a lot of people are seem to be focusing more on the aesthetically uh, pleasing outfit and focusing on the fact that you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good so they buy the asics gel 1130 they buy the nike vomero 5s which you can get on the retail and make sure that the whole outfit looks good instead of making the sneakers the center piece look at all of the outfits the majority of the outfits out there are not necessarily rocking a bunch of hype sneakers i'm not saying nobody's buying hype sneakers i'm just saying that right now the focus is more on the outfit as a whole rather than making the sneaker the center piece. Remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good. The sneaker market is not mainstream anymore. It's not trendy, it's not commercial. Like what I'm trying to say is that back in 2017 till about 2022, everybody in their mama wanted sneakers. Like your grandma probably had a pair of Panda Dunk Lows. Your mom probably had a pair of Yeezy 350s. Your father and your uncle had some kind of an idea of what sneakers were releasing, which is kind of weird because 15 years ago, they had no idea about that they thought a team jordan was just a regular retro jordan so what i'm trying to say is that everything has changed and that's a good thing we're going back to the good old days for sneakerheads and that plays a huge role in the resale market because back then resale was just crazy like there was just a lot of opportunity think about it if more people are into sneakers more people want to buy sneakers, then resellers definitely took advantage of that as well. Then you have companies like Nike, for example, they forecast their years, their upcoming years based on trends. Their trends were that they were selling every year more and more and more, especially in the COVID days, especially after the last dance documentary and all of these things play a big part. So at the end, think about it. Things are just not commercial anymore. And in my opinion, it's just a very good thing. The other thing that is affecting the sneaker game for sure is the economy, something that other YouTubers are not talking about to the point that it surprises me and it baffles me. I'm like, damn, I guess you got enough money to wipe your ass with hundreds. <laughs> Congratulations, you have money. But the rest of the people are not in that same predicament. They're living check to check. Think about it. Cost of living goes up, rentals go up, groceries go up, mortgage rates go up, but your salary stays the same. You don't have the same cash flow to get sneakers like you were doing four or five years ago, you know, and that's kind of the thing that other people don't understand. In case you didn't know, I actually work on finance. I've been doing it for 10 plus years. That's what I do professionally outside of YouTube. And I can tell you for sure that the cash flow people had five to 10 years ago is definitely way different now. And that is the reason why sneakers are sitting in shelves. That is why they're going to outlets. That is why people are being more selective. And yeah, the economy definitely is affecting everyone. But at the same time, for those that have a little bit of extra cash, it is a golden time in sneaker history because you can really get the sneakers that you want, except for the super hype uh, like Travis Scott's, for example. However, I'm going to also say this as a person who's been doing finance for the last 10 plus years, I want to tell you that be smart with your money. 
Yeah, you might have a little bit of extra cash to buy sneakers, but remember, sneakers are not everything. And this is coming from a huge sneakerhead. I love sneakers and I love fashion, but there could be rough times ahead and you want to make sure that you're prepared for those rough times because a pair of sneakers is not going to get food on the table if that makes any sense and that's just reality right that's just being real so at the end just keep in mind the economy changes everything the economy plays a part good and bad so yeah that is another reason why the sneaker market is not necessarily dead is just changing Last but not least, life just happens. Think about it. You are not the same person that you were 10, 15 years ago. If you were collecting sneakers back when you were 20, now you're probably 30 something, which means that you probably have a family. You're getting married. You have kids. You know, you're probably traveling the world and you see that there's more to life than just sneakers. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm into so many other things than, than sneakers. There's more to life than just sneakers, right? I'm into cars. I'm into tech, etc. And People think it's the end of the world if sneakers are not selling. But again, life happens. Also, on the flip side of things, 15 years ago, maybe 12 years ago, people were rocking LeBron 7s, 8s, 9s, that were rocking Kobe's casually with outfits, like going to like a regular event with these sneakers. Nowadays, people only see these sneakers as I just want to ball in these sneakers. It's a different mindset, like the KD4 Nerf still sits in certain stores it is crazy it is mind-blowing to think about because this sneaker was going over a thousand dollars at one point it was a grail for so many people and i was able to finally get this sneaker easily in 2024 with no problem at all whatsoever so why are you complaining like if you are one of those people that are complaining about, oh, the sneaker game is dead. Like everything sits in shelves. Everything is a bunch of bricks. What are you talking about? You can really get what you want. It's just you are the problem because in your eyes, in your world, if there's no hype, there's no sneaker game, I guess it's not cool for you. So I feel that you got into this game for the wrong reasons. And whether you want to accept that or not, it's a different story, different conversation. But if you are a true sneakerhead, you rock what you want. You rock what you like. And that's just it, period. So let me know in the comment section, what do you feel about this type of this discussion? Let me know if you agree. Let me know what else I'd miss in this uh, conversation. But it's something that I needed to get off my chest. So if I sound passionate, it's because I am passionate about sneakers. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, go ahead and hit subscribe smash the like button it really does mean a lot and also follow me in my social media pages right there with all of that being said thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next time peace